What started as a minor car accident turned into the death of a 62 year old man earlier this month. Johnny Hallman died after he was tased by an Atlanta police officer and a lot of people have questions about this, including the mayor of Atlanta, who is now calling for a full investigation into his death. Atlanta News first reporter Bridget Spencer is live at City Hall this morning. The mayor is taking a deep dive into the department's practices. Bridget, tell us more about this. That's right. Mayor Andre Dickens is calling for a full investigation into what happened here uh, during this traffic stop. Meanwhile, a family grieving the loss of a father. Now, Johnny Holman's daughter, Arnitra Holman, says back on after being involved in a minor car wreck. She drove to the scene and started recording from her cell phone at that point. Now, Atlanta police say when they tried to give Holman a citation, he became agitated and uncooperative at the scene. They say after several minutes passed by, an officer decided to deploy his taser and detained Holman. Arnitra says her dad has had asthma since he was just a child and could not breathe at that moment. Minutes later, he was unresponsive. Every day, I told him my dad every day. I can't talk to my daddy at all no more. I heard my daddy begging for his life. I heard my daddy begging for him. I heard my daddy telling y'all he couldn't breathe. Now, the mayor did just issue a statement saying, quote, immediately following these events, I've directed Chief Darren Sheerbaum to conduct a top to bottom evaluation of the interaction with Mr. Holman, including a review of the department's standard operating procedures and training curriculum. And the mayor also goes on to say that the officer will receive due process. That officer we know is on leave, which is standard protocol. Meanwhile, the family still calling for justice, saying tomorrow they will rally at APD headquarters for a protest. We're live in downtown Atlanta. Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First.